Hello everyone, my name is Tim and this is Time for Exploring and this is the How To Series and today I'm going to show you how to install Max Air Fan Deluxe Edition. This is the, the manual, this does not have uh, the remote. And show you how show you how we do it. So here's our original vent. Notice there's no fan in there. I got lucky. I actually have uh, uh, electrical for the uh, fan down there. So what we're going to want to do is take take off the die core off the screw holes and then clean her up. It's a little windy out here, so bear with me. Some of the tools uh, we're going to need, we're going to need a metal scraper, plastic scraper, got my uh, die core uh, sealant, lap sealant, self-leveling. What I want to do is get these screw holes exposed. We have all the screws off. Um, didn't have to take a lot off the screw heads. These back ones, I actually was able to just put them, put the, um, the screwdriver in there, twist a little bit, make sure it was nice and tight. Next thing you know, what we want to do is we want to get underneath this and pry her up. And that's what the plastic is for. Because this, uh, the roof, I have a plastic roof on this. So you just want to get this underneath and work your way around. All right, everyone, we we're able to get a fairly clean surface around here. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to be putting the butyl tape back over it. And next thing we want to do is want to grab grab the base here, and you want to align it up. Make sure your old screw holes are covered. It's kind of windy out here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to want to pencil in uh, the edge that you want, so you can put it back. Uh, put it back down the way that you want. So I have covered up pretty much all of the screw holes. The butyl tape will be on the bottom of this. So we'll go ahead and just pencil this in. Oh. We're gonna get as close to the screw holes as possible. Now what we're going to do, you keep your screw holes to the left and right of your coach. And then we're going to go back and we're going to line up pencil marks. Just going to push down. I'm going to do uh, each corner first and go to the opposite side. That's fine. I'm go all the way down. Let's turn this up a little. Do each corner. So you know you got a nice level surface. Let's put the rest of the screws in. Just like you would do your tightening up your tire on your car. Came across uh, some issues. Well, we're gonna have to drill a hole for hitting hitting metal. And you don't have to take it down too far. Broke off a head off the screw. Well. I had to uh, take all the screws out and 
going to get this screw out and replace it with another one and this is what can happen all right now what we're gonna do is go through put this on the screw heads We're now ready to put the fan on. Make sure you have it facing, the opening facing the back. I have all the die core down, it's looking great. Now it's time to put screws in. I'll go ahead and hand tighten these. And that is it. Take the cover off. And we're ready to go inside and wire her up. Alright, now we are on the inside. And I actually got lucky. I got bedroom fan cables power um, and here's the other for that the thing is if I did not have power for that I would have to go through this hole which then goes into the bathroom and what you would do is you would take this fan shroud off and then you would tap into the power for this and run your line back through the hole going back to the new fan. So I actually got lucky. It's uh, tapping into this electricity is very easy. Uh, your dark color is always positive on the wires. You always want to measure that up. Uh, new cable. I was going to use 12 gauge or 16 gauge cable for it. I actually bought it. It is right here. So this is what I was going to use, uh, but I do have power now. I bought the heat shrink uh, shields for that, and I was going to solder um, that end of it. But I do not have to do with that. I don't have to deal with it. I got lucky. So I'm going to cut these wires and we'll go from there. Safety first. Turn off all the power. Let's shut everything off. We are safe. We have no power. have to cut about an inch and three quarter off this to make it fit so off to my garage and there you have it we should be good to go moment of truth is she gonna fit? Yeah, we'll put it down like this. Voila. All right, time to get the screws in.
right, time to go turn the power on. Oh yeah. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. This is awesome. That's on three. You can barely hear it. Well, there you go. All done.